Knife Joe. More Joe. Come and get your fix. What's up, fuckers? Your boy's back with a fresh batch of juice. Knife dope. That's right, people. The hits don't stop. Man, oh man, have I been enjoying the hell out of this knife. My McNeese, Mac 2, Gen 2, Tonto apparatus. And I've got a great, great, important update to share. I have reached out to the individual who I wanted to send this to for the, um, for the epic milling job that I've got planned on this one. Now, he accepted the knife. You know, he's hard to get into. It's hard to secure a spot with. And um, I'm waiting to hear back as to will, if he will accommodate me on the milling job that I want done on this one. I haven't got 100% confirmation. He made it seem like he would be willing to take it on, but don't want to send it until he um, until he gives me the okay. But I promise you, it will be epic. One way or the other, it will be epic. Now, that's not what we're here to talk about, people. Not at all. As the as-of-yet-designed thumbnail will say, we're going to be taking a look at the most expensive knife that has ever graced this desk here at Knife Dope Studios. And so without further ado, let's get to the dope. Also got a quick update. The, um, the feedback and the requests for the bag of dope has been overwhelming. I actually had to purchase another 60-pack of envelopes along with um, another 40 stamps because the fucking requests have not stopped coming in. I'm going to be making, um, this weekend, I'm dedicating myself, uh, or dedicating some time, rather, to getting these um, these packages, you know, boxed up, ready to go. I also added a couple of more knives that I'm going to be sending out randomly. Uh, these were two brand new knives that I got from a member of the community. Big shout out to Danny Boy, a.k.a. The Governor. Uh, the Governor had won a massive giveaway from another channel, and he sold me these brand new knives at an amazing price. So I wanted to pay it forward uh, and give these um, give these to y'all. So just so you know, I got a couple of spider codes that are going to be making its way to some of y'all, as well as this. Uh, what is this? Uh, this is the Button Lock Elementum Nitro V. And this one is, what the fuck is it? There it is, a Banter in Black G10 s 35 vn Now, the way I'm going to kind of go about this, I have asked y'all when you send me emails to kind of give me a, um, a screenshot of the collection or at least, you know, give me some details as to your collecting. Uh, so that way I don't, you know, I don't give a budget knife per se to someone who maybe might not be into budget knives. So um, please do that because if not, then I'm not going to probably consider that account for a knife. I'm not too quite sure how I'm going to go about doing that, but I'm going to figure something out and um, we should have those packages shipped next week. I'm trying to send two knives per person. Uh, that way you can always have a bag up, bag of dope. All right, now let's get to the important shit. Most expensive knife ever on Knife Dope's channel. And I got to give a big thank you to Don Farmer, otherwise known as DK Knives. DK Knives has got all the dope you need, whether foreign or domestic. And he's now accepting Sezzle. So you can make those irresponsible purchases interest-free. Over four payments, I might add. Just be sure to use code KNIFEDOPE for 10% off that purchase. Okay, people, the shilling has stopped. Let's get to the dope. All right, all right. Probably wondering what knife this is. So let's get to it. You know what that is? <laughs> oh, shit. That is the talent of freedom coming to us from... Hawk Knife Designs, and this is the Model C of the Deadlock. Oh, shit. Unreal. I thought I'd never get the opportunity to have this knife in my hand, let alone on the channel. And uh, once again, Don came through for me and has allowed me to experience this knife. Let's see what we've got here. We've got a, is this a COA? Nope, no COA. I thought that was a COA. All right. So here she goes. Now, table price on these, like I mentioned, $3,500. So this is by far the most expensive knife I think I've even handled uh, in person. 
We've got, um, this is the titanium version with this carbon fiber inlay, which is on both sides of the knife. This appears to be like a black dune carbon fiber inlay. That's what I'm going with. We've got this wonderful engraved talon here on the, uh, on the so I guess we're gonna call this the show side of the knife. We've also got um, nicely contoured, uh, rather chamfered edges of the knife, <clears throat> of the handle rather. We've got the uh, branding here. So we've got deadlock tie 2023 GNG Hawk. Now they use these um, spring assembly or rather spring mounted pocket clips. You know, those have kind of grown on me. I've seen a couple of other um, Chinese knives that have used this, but I think the only American company that I know that uses this to my knowledge is uh, G and G, uh, G and G knife, G and G Hawk. Now we've got a stepped actuator here. So that's going to help you with, uh, with traction. Also got some nice jimping on the underside. Now let's check it out. Woo! That bitch fires out. Now it's not as, um, it's not as forceful, <clears throat> pardon me, on the, on the deployment, but the retraction seems to be a little bit, a uh, little bit stronger. Uh, but nonetheless, we've got 8.5 inches as far as overall length, three and a half inches in this wonderful double-sided bayonet, aka dagger blade. Love the stone wash finish. Steel on this is CPM Magna Cum Laude. That's right, Magna Cut. 156 thousandths is the blade stock thickness. Plenty of real estate for a nice full purchase. We've got 5.2 inches as far as overall, or rather, as far as handle length. 100% USA made. Now, the um, the acclaim to this knife is the proclamation that there is no blade play. <laughs> oh, shit. Bro, that is fucking insane. There is absolutely no blade play. This is actually... I've, I've got frame locks that got more blade play than this. So, essentially, we've got a lockup that is tighter than Frog's ass. Man, I tell you, I don't know if I, um, even if I had the $3,500, I don't think I could do this, man. I just, primarily because I am not a OTF guy, but the uh, fit and finish on this is impressive to say the least. And I tell you, there are plenty of people who feel that price is okay because these things sell out instantly whenever they do drop. Um, I think I was... A couple of years, a couple of years ago, I was very naive, and I thought I was going to be able to get one of these, and then I saw that price tag, and I was like, "Okay, never mind." Oh, but here she goes, the deadlock. Now let's go ahead and put some knives up for some size comparison. Basically, a little bit of knife flexing. You know how the fuck we do. Going to keep it all American at first. We're going to start out like this: Spiderco Native Five in fluted carbon fiber. Then we're going to go with the PM2. Ripper's Edge Cutlery Exclusive. So here we see the deadlock up against those. Let's do a couple more, shall we? How about some Taiwan vibes? We're gonna go with the Quiet Carry Waypoint Large. How about uh, the only knife in my collection with a double edge, and that's going to be the Riot XOM. So here we see that. Let's do two more. God damn it, two more. How about some Demco vibes? The 20.5, also from Taiwan. Then we're gonna go with Big Mama. That's right, the AD20. So here we see that deadlock up against those. Now to kind of give you some comparison as to um, the blade play issue, you know, every other OTF known to man has blade play, including my beloved Kershaw Livewire. So there you see the blade play on that versus the absolute zero blade play. It's interesting, man. You know, it's like, what is it they're doing down there that uh, makes that a possibility? You know, when I first looked at it, I thought perhaps it was that they had a, a wider base there. But you can see that these other OTFs, they do the same thing. At least the Kershaw Livewire does. It's not that. Um, it appears, let me see something here. It appears they've got like the like an extra plate there or something. Is that what's going on here? Yeah, because I don't see that type of a plate. You see that plate right here? I wonder if that's... I'm sure it's got to be more than just that. Because if that was the case, we'd have other companies doing it as well. But whatever it is, man, they've got the game on lock with that uh, no blade play. Well, there we have it. Most expensive ever. 
at Knife Dope Studios. But more importantly, I want to know what you fuckers think. Would you pay $3,500 for this OTF? Tell me all about it. Love you, mean it. Until the next time. Cut something. Cut someone. Just don't cut yourself. Stay dangerous, fuckers!